imprisoned inside was a butterfly waiting to be free. I think many people don't know Zorba, and it's uh, an astonishing human piece of writing. It's so passionate. The story is about a sort of a, 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 a larger-than-life character who's a jack-of-all-trades in Greece named Zorba, um, who claims to know how to do everything, and if he doesn't do everything, he can do almost everything, who runs into, on the dock, runs into an American who has arrived to take over a, a mine that his family left him. Uh, John's character, Zorba, obviously helps him, by the end, be free, which is such a great reminder to all of us, you know, that life is to be lived. Zorba teaches Nico that when life turns to death, you dance. And in the dancing, you, you learn how to live. I was very impatient, so I warmed the cocoon with the breath of my sighs. And the butterfly trembled. of candor and ebb since I was about 10. I, th I think why you keep coming back to them is, is th they're about what we live in our lives and and being able to, to sort of understand that through song and through story is such is such a gift and it's you know as we as storytellers this is what we you know what we give to the audience. I think the main joy of this musical is that it's very strong it's, it's like a play with music which, which is what I think Candor and Ebb do so brilliantly. It has a lot of life-affirming uh, uh, elements in it, but it's not sentimental. It's very, you know, real. It's, 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 got, it's got harshness to it. It's got, uh, it's got sex. It's got, you know, it's got tenderness. Candor and Ebb really have an understanding of um, life is devastation, and absolute elation. They gravitate towards big themes and human nature at its most complex. We want to make her, she's just the, the, the dearest one in rehearsal. Like I, I have the great pleasure of um, building numbers around her where she has men dancing with her and lifting her and you should see her face. She just stops and giggles and just says, oh, pinch me, I'm in a musical. I haven't been in a musical since 1975. Um, so, and I couldn't sing then, so I mean, <laughs> um, it's just, it, I'm, I'm laughing a lot, I'm having a great time, um, but it could be tears before bedtime. <laughs> you know, I do theatre, I, I go to Broadway theatres, but when you sit in a room and there's a great piece, and I sit next to Santino Fontana and Marin Mazzi and, and Robert Cuccioli, and you know, you're like, listening to them sing, sitting next to you, you're like, wow. I was like, man, I, you know, I, would, I would just pay to sit here. Think about the story of a butterfly, think about the story of a butterfly.